Hello again. Uh, in part three, we'll be painting the surfer and the surfboard. Um, I've introduced a couple more colours now. I've got alizarin crimson, um, with which I've mixed with the uh, viridian. And when you mix those two colours together, you get this beautiful black. It's a really vibrant black. And with that, I'm going to be painting a part of the costume, the uh, the wetsuit of the of the surfboarder. Um, I've also used a, a tiny tad of alizarin crimson mixed in with my yellow ochre or raw sienna if you're using raw sienna, and that will give me a nice flesh colour. But it really is a tiny tiny touch um, which I've mixed over here. So I've got two more colours to go here. Um, then I used my uh, alizarin crimson again with blue to make a violet and that's going to be the cast shadow on the board so I'm going to start with the board because I want to just just suggest some color on the board with the yellow ochre which is the color that I used in the sea here or raw sienna if you're using that of course and I'm not going to do this wet and wet, I'm going to do it wet on dry. I'm going to put a little bit of colour under the board. And then I want a highlight on the top of the board here. And I'm just going to scratch in some colour. I'm going to leave a little bit of white. Because that will suggest the waves, the, the, the spray. And that's all I need to do really on there. So I'm not going to wash off my brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of my shadow color, which I've pre-mixed from the alizarin crimson and the ultramarine blue. And while this is still damp, I'm going to come in under his foot and I'm just going to wash a little bit of shadow across here. And that's going to come down this side as well under his hand. It's going to come under here to give the board a little bit of shape and under here. Pick up another little bit of that violet colour that I've mixed. I'm going to come over here and down there to his other hand and under his back foot this cast shadow coming across the back of the board there from his body and there's a little bit in here too so I'm going to wash off my brush and I'm just going to soften that a little bit so it's not quite so hard edged it's going to blend a little bit better into the yellow. So we're just going to soften this under that edge there. Um, okay. There is shadow on his foot as well, but we're going to paint the flesh tone before we do that. So wash my brush off. Now one side of his face is in shadow. If I look at my reference photo again, you can see that his face on this side is in shadow. This side is sunlit. That hand is sunlit. That hand is partly sunlit and in shadow. That foot is in shadow with a little bit of highlight here. So I'm going to try and more or less replicate that. We don't need to be too exact with it. So I've mixed a little bit of flesh tone. It's quite a small painting, so I don't need a, a great puddle of color to do this. And I can come over his head with, with that color. That's my flesh tone. Paint the head and the neck. And I can go up into his hair because I can paint over that later. And I'm going to come down to his feet. 
and give those a little bit of colour. And his hands. Okay, that's all I need to do for that for now. Um, then I'm going to model the face a little bit more with the shadow colour, but I'm going to let that dry first. So let's go on to his suit. His suit is actually yellow ochre as well, but I think I'm going to make that alizarin crimson and, and introduce a bit more alizarin crimson into the painting. So add a little bit of water to my colour here. Let's flash him up a bit and give him some, some bright wetsuit to wear. I want to be very careful around his head so it doesn't bleed into the colour I've just put down. Okay, his wetsuit is kind of rolled up here. so. And then it goes into a black wetsuit underneath. It's got kind of a double layer on. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot of shadow over this side, so I'll be painting over this again with the shadow. I'm going to just Leave a little white line there. He's got a black trouser bottom on. His wetsuit is black underneath this top. Um, and his jacket comes around here. That part is in shadow. Okay, let's have a look at the shadow for the, the face. That has bled in here, but that's okay. I can just pull this colour out and blend it in into his face. So I'll have to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to darken down the shadow a wee bit as well. Add a bit more blue to my shadow colour. So let's go back to his feet because they're dry. They're just little tiny touches in here. So a little bit of shadow on his feet. There's shadow on his feet here. This foot is half in shadow. Bring that shadow out here too, a little bit more. Darken it down here. Um, suggest his fingers over here. With some shadow. And a little bit of shadow on this hand. Okay, let's put a little bit of shadow on his face. I'll, I'll do his hair in a moment. Uh, so I know his eyes are going to come across here. I'm not going to paint in any features at all. All I'm doing is shadow, which is going to kind of suggest the, the face for you. And I'm going to use that shadow in his hair. And I 
across his brow here. That's all you need to do, just a suggestion of features because it's all about the wave, not so much about the surfer. Right, I've got my shadow colour again. I'm going to put some shadow in coming across his his shoulder here and I can actually suggest the creases in his wetsuit now with this shadow colour all of this is in shadow it comes down under his arm keep looking at your reference photo it's very important because this is your guide this is going to delineate the bottom of his face a little bit more. I'm looking at my reference photograph all the time while I'm doing this. Backwards and forwards to the reference photograph to give me an idea of where I'm going. Okay, he's got cast shadow coming from his head, across his shoulder, it comes over his back. A little bit of light coming through here. A bit more shadow across there. Okay, I'll leave it at that for his jacket. So this is all more or less dry now. So now I don't need to wash off my brush because I'm going to go into the very dark that I mixed with the alizarin crimson and the green the viridian green makes this lovely black and that black is going to be the black for his wetsuit that is underneath this red top wetsuit so again very carefully I'm using the point of the brush still the same brush the size 14 LG. It's got a very good point on it, so it's great for doing little details. Model his arm. Down to his wrist. Let's come to the trousers the wetsuit and I'll leave a little highlight on here because the there's a little bit of spatter from the waves and also the sun is catching the edge of his wetsuit so I'm just going to leave a little bit of a white line on this edge here you can leave some little white marks just a little bit of negative painting to suggest spatter from the sea so far looking good and then this back leg which is coming back here I want to leave that little highlight between the two legs and again I've put some masking on there already to reserve the spatter from the from the waves I'm just modelling this back leg. Again, I'll leave a few little dots and dashes. And I want this little white line here between the two legs. His leg, his knee pokes out this side. So I'll suggest that. A 
and then we've just got his arm on this side and again there's a nice highlight coming down here so I'm going to try and reserve that and I'll leave a little bit of a white line there between the arm and the leg Okay, so far so good.